you know, what sort of deals are you doing? I know you've played in hotels a little bit. You're looking at maybe some mm-hmm. diversification. I mean, let's talk about that because there are opportunities out there. Where, where, there are, where are you looking right now? Yeah. Sure, sure. You know, Chad, I have also moved into senior assisted living. Some of the people know that, you know, those that are following me. But that's also multifamily senior assisted living has been a very good arm in the last three years that I'm into the building part of it and all that, which took a little shake up, you know, with the interest rates hike and not only that, the shortage of material and labor, like I just mentioned. Not only that, the shortage of material and labor, like I just mentioned, but I just purchased multifamily. We are doing extremely well. I, I want to say that I only bought one so far this year. See, the thing is, you got to slow down to speed up. I always say that. So you got to marry the numbers and the business plan and the business plan, what you're going to do with the multifamily. So don't rush into something right away. But the other thing I'm going right now is hotels. Because of the COVID, there was a pretty big, steep valuation downward because the occupancy went down, you know, for the hotels. And I love the mid-tier branded hotels like Marriott's, IHG, International Intercontinental Group, and then Hyatt's, and then, of course, our, uh, I'm thinking about Marriott and Hilton's, Hilton's, you know. And uh, so I'm lucky you know, the Wyndham's, the Holiday Inn Expresses, the Extended Care is another one on my radar. So I have gone into hotels three years back, three and a, three and a half years back, and now I'm buying four hotels right now. Wow. Right now. Yeah, four of them. Actually, brother, I bought one just three weeks back from the bank, from the bank. It's, I paid 13.5. It's worth 19 million. 19 million. And we already knew that we we're going to take out the payroll effects because 165 keys. And we also wanted to take the steakhouse or the restaurant, give it to another operator because we don't know how to run the restaurant. So anyway, those kind of just small business meetings has made it. And I just signed a, my partner and I signed an agreement with a broker to sell it at 25 million. Wow. <laughs> so if we find something close to it, we'll sell it. But the hotels is a great, great avenue for everybody to look into, by the way. I look at hotels as multifamily because it's easy multifamily. The rooms are up there. People have to pay right at the counter to stay the night or seven days or 10 days. So delinquency is zero and the rates go up and down you know, every day kind of thing. The other good part I like, and I might have mentioned when you and I met, is if we don't do syndication to raise money or do like joint venture or member managed LLCs, then you could give active income losses to the investors. Very interesting. That's yeah, that's, that's interesting. pretty good to know. And so, okay, mm-hmm. so I have several questions here. Uh, oh, you, know, you, you, have, you have so many, uh, you know, so many tricks that you're into. If we work backwards, <laughs> the hotel mm-hmm. side. So, you know, you you came out of multifamily and other assets and started buying hotels. So, are you basically retaining Marriott in a triple net lease situation to operate the hotel for you, or are you actually managing and operating the hotel? I Sorry love about it. that. I love it. Or are Very you? Good hold on, hold on. I got a yeah. phone ring. Let me yeah. do that again. So, <laughs> cutting that back in, guys. So, yeah. are you actually managing and operating the hotel, or are you retaining Marriott to do that for you? Excellent, excellent. What is happening is there are certified operators of hotel management and you know uh, doing all the things. So, we have worked with one company. You know, it's called Jeff, J, uh, GF, uh, management company and hospitality. We love them. We love them. And they have been with us taking the Hilton Garden Inn, which we sold recently at double the price. So we have been working, managing the managers kind of thing. We cannot operate the hotel. You have to have background and certified, uh, personnel to manage them. 
So we work with the third party, give them 3% or actually the new ones. We are paying 2.5% or 2.15%, I, I heard. And so that way, we are managing weekly our partners who manage our hotels. That's how it so, is. So this is very interesting. So basically, you have a branded hotel. So I, I assume mm-hmm. that means Marriott owns the franchise and will effectively take franchise fees. You then hire yes, a yeah. third-party manager, mm-hmm. just like we would in multifamily, who is qualified and has the operational experience yes. to run the show. Turkey. You took the you took the Turkey. restaurant out in this case and put and yeah. put someone else who knows how. And then you so you're basically effectively behaving no different than you would be in your apartment syndications. You're, you're managing the asset. You got How about that? Totally the same. Totally the same. Hi, you are listening to syndication made easy podcast. We will be right back after this short break. Hi, thank you so much. This is Vinny Chopra and thank you for subscribing to my podcast and uh, YouTube channel and Facebook pages and all the great things and LinkedIn connect with me. I come live to you every Friday at 9.30 Pacific with Vinny and Bo show. Please also look at that and also the podcast, which is my uh, apartment syndication made easy. The book I wrote to a couple of years back became international top seller uh, on Amazon international now. And then we like to bring great guests for you every week or twice a week sometime to give you a lot of great knowledge. So please subscribe. You give us five-star reviews on the iTunes. The better the guests we can, you know, bring and our ranking will go higher also. Thanks again for uh, following us and really getting the most out of it. Please comment, like, share, because we would love to bring better and better material for you. Totally the same. And they are the rooms with the keys. <laughs> it's amazing so how you very, can draw these very parallels. Bullish, very yeah. bullish, very bullish on, you know, hotels actually to be truthful because the prices are low and we know where to buy them and we are getting some off-market deals through our context that we have built. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. Very good. You know, the other one which... I would love to say to your audience and mine, you know, you got to diversify. You got to look at different ways so that more passive income streams can come in. The other one, if you believe in the metaverse or the NFTs, I know NFT got a bad rap, you know, but with the authenticity and having a physical product and the contracts, NFTs will be big coming up, you know, and Metaverse, definitely. I'm so, so, so excited about it where I invested into a kind of seed round uh, with Meta. As you know, Facebook changed their name from, you know, Facebook to Meta, M-E-T-A. That is the four letters of the Metaverse. So Web3 technology and the experiential uh, you know, understanding and on your laptop, we'll be able to go to Rodeo Drive and Singapore's and all metaverses and try the product on us right there in 3D and be able to buy it right there to get it delivered. So that's the other space I'm really getting bigger. And that's when I'm going to Las Vegas, this four or five days leaving tomorrow, where we'll be dropping NFTs and also on the PGA tournament. And then also the uh, metaverse, we'll be having discussions and meetings and all. Yeah. Yeah, that's very interesting. And you, you got you to gotta roll that back a little bit, Vinny, for, you know, I'm going to tell you, I do not understand the metaverse and I'm going to presume a lot of my audience doesn't either. What the heck is the metaverse? What, what are we trying to invest in here in the simplest terms possible? The simplest term, as I understand it to everybody, is that it's 3D experience, experiential and actually there is a, uh, ads coming out from Facebook from Meta on television. I just saw it yesterday. And I doing my research, I find Facebook or Meta now is spending 15 to $20 billion a year into this technology. So this is going to be the Web3, not Web2, Web3 technology, just like the internet came 
that's what it's going to change the whole perspective. And through holographic images and everything, we'll be able to experience the world sitting in our home. So it's a meta verse universe with a meta in it which is experiential in the simple term <laughs> very interesting it, it, this is an interesting time because much like you know cryptocurrency mm-hmm. in its infancy th- th- it's the opportunity to invest in something that not people understand and sometimes that yes. could be at the time when it's when it's worth the least and about to explode so look into it folks reach out to Vinny. we'll, we'll get a uh, you know <laughs> his contact information here in the end but before we go to the quattro question Vinny, I want to roll yes, back a yes. little bit to senior housing. So if we go backwards, okay. what we were saying as well. So you said uh, in senior housing, do you see that as development opportunity or do you see that as acquisition operation opportunity? Oh, my gosh. Amazing opportunities for the next 40 years, 40 years. Nobody can even touch it because we are aging. We are aging fast. As you know, 10,000 baby boomers turning 65 every night until 2031. Where the last, you know, baby boomer will turn into senior. So there is a huge opportunity for independent living, 55 plus living, 65 living, 70 living. I'm in the assisted living and memory care side where there is, you know, no doctors in my facilities and even nurse I don't need, but we put one nurse there and medications and everything and caregivers. So residential uh, senior assisted living is amazing. We do multifamily senior assisted living, about 94 units, not 200, not 400. We don't believe in elevators and all that stuff. So we do flat, you know, ground only with courtyards and everything. So that is a place that I have a lot of passion for to build them from scratch because we Put them in there, you know, the spas, the salons, the high ceilings, because we could go high in a single, you know, single story to like 20 feet, 30 feet ceilings and all the way around, you know, beautiful uh, uh, my library I can think about. And then, of course, the movie theater and grand pianos and all just like a resort. So that's what we are building. And we are still giving them at $4,400, $3,800 to $4,400 in, in Florida and in Virginia. And my friend told me today, $10,000 in Southern California. I didn't wow. see the facility. And for memory care, she said $20,000. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe when they told me that. So there is a huge opportunity for everybody listening to us. You could take existing facility, small or big or mid-size, and then do some renovations. And it's a great money, you know, profitability, but you're helping the seniors also. That's the yeah, part. exactly. Yeah. And I assume the, the 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 sentiment is similar in that, you know, you, you are going, I mean, especially with regulation in this space, you will have to find qualified operators who can, you know, effectively run the day to day and staff the property and have proper licensure and things of that sort. Yeah. Totally, totally. We hire yeah. our own. We are vertically integrated in this case. So we don't hire a third party to manage our yeah. senior assisted living. We mm-hmm. do our own, but we hire an executive director with the licenses and the nurses with licenses. So they're on our payroll, about 23 people, mm-hmm. you know, per facility. And our chefs, deputy chefs, and our office managers, so the whole exercise manager, all that, right? So we have done it for a few years. My partner has done it for about 10 years. So we have gotten into it for about four years now. So that's where we are. So we, we could even get outside company to manage it, or we could do it inside also, you know. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, folks, this has been an action-packed episode with Vinny. And it, as we come back to it, I think the takeaway is the opportunities are out there. What's happening yes. with interest rates is real and it will it will subside. Mm-hmm. But watch for the opportunities it creates. Stick to the fundamentals and... 